going to demonstrate a simple video tutorial using visible spectrophotometer for iodine clock reaction. I'm not going to use hydrogen peroxide, I'm going to use potassium persulfate as oxidizing agent. Cuvette, add starch, 50 microlit, sodium thiosulfate, 50 microlit. Next, add potassium iodide. Five hundred microlit. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place it inside the visible spectrophotometer. And next, I'm going to add oxidizing agent, which is potassium persulfate. Five hundred microlit. And once I add, I'm going to start my data collection. And I'm going to measure the time. Time it takes for blue-black coloration to form instead of the cross method. Once the blue-black coloration forms, there will be an increase in absorbance. So I'm going to take the time. Add and start my data collection. So I'm going to measure the absorbance at 608, which is the lambda max. And once blue black coloration form, there will be increase in absorbance. So I'm going to take the time it takes instead of using the cross method. It's a sharp increase in absorbance. Stop. I'm going to remove it out. Blue black coloration instead of the cross method. Can use visible spectrophotometer for our then clock reaction. But this method is not as accurate compared to hydrogen peroxide because the formation of blue black coloration is very slow. So a better way is using oxidizing agent which is hydrogen peroxide instead of potassium per sulfate. Thank you.